have the filter content PHP file opened up. If you don't remember, this function will filter the recipe content and display the recipe information along with a rating. Inside the function, we use the global WPDB object to make a raw query. This query simply gets the number of ratings a recipe has. I'm going to add some line breaks before and after this query so you can see it more clearly. Just like any other query, it's important to sanitize any data we add to it. We should always take steps to secure our plugins and themes. WordPress introduced a new method of securing queries by creating the prepare method. This method works similarly to MySQL as prepare statements. They aren't hard to understand or use. This method will simply sanitize a query before it's executed. This method requires two things, the query itself and the data that should be sanitized. Let's prepare this query. It's very simple. First, we're going to wrap this query around the method of the WPDB object called prepare. I'm going to format this a bit by putting the query on its own line. This method has two parameters. It accepts a query as the first parameter, and then the second parameter is the data to sanitize. If we have more than one piece of data, like in our query, then we can keep passing in more data. This function is pretty flexible and can grow to as many parameters as we need it to. There are two pieces of variables I want to sanitize, which is the post ID and the IP. This won't work just yet. This method has our query and the data, but they're not tied together. How does it know where to place the sanitized data? Well, we use special placeholders created by WordPress. Percent sign %s, percent sign %d, and percent sign %f. Where percent sign %s is for strings, percent sign %d is for integers, and percent sign %f is for floating numbers. Replace these values with the correct placeholders. The post ID should be percent sign %d and the IP should be percent sign %s. And that's it. This method will take in all this information and then return a sanitized query for the actual method that will run this query. Let's try checking out a recipe now. Here's a recipe we made earlier. So far we have no errors. Let's try rating this recipe and refreshing the page. Still no errors and our rating was saved. Using prepared statements is one of the best ways to protect yourself against SQL injections. Prepared statements should be used for SQL queries. For methods like the insert or delete method, the WPDB object will already create a sanitized query for you. Here's what I want you to do now. I want you to go through our plugin and look for more raw queries and prepare them like we did with this query.